It's, it's great to be here and it's great to see all of you here. I think of the movie Casablanca where the inspector turned around to someone like Gary Abbott and said, round up the usual suspects. And when you take a look at who the leaders in and around this sport might be, and the command went out to round up the usual suspects, Stan Desick and others among you would probably be brought here as some of the usual suspects. So I want to say we're glad you're here and we're especially glad that we have this opportunity to come together and select the 2014 edition to represent the United States in the World Championships. I want to begin by saying thanks to Dennis and Tori Hall for opening this beautiful, beautiful home on this beautiful location and allowing us all sharing it tonight. How about giving them a big round of applause, please? I would also like to bring up here, introduce if I can, our executive director from USA Wrestling to assist in handing out our awards tonight. Mr. Rich Bender. And folks, I'm going to tell you, every team has to have a quarterback, and this is our quarterback for USA Wrestling right here, Rich Bender. Let's get Danny his wife up here for a picture with this. Come on up, Danny. Come on up. So we'll be having one of these engraved for you and your wife. And, uh, small token of our appreciation for your house. So. Okay, we're going to do some pictures here. Let's get a picture here. Okay. We're going to begin by recognizing some athletes. I don't know that they're with us tonight. They're probably getting ready for tomorrow or the next day after that. But nonetheless, just because there's not he they're not here, I still want to recognize our athletes. We've got a Greco-Roman Athlete of the Year. We have a Women's Athlete of the Year. And we have a Freestyle Athlete of the Year. Our Greco-Roman Wrestler of the Year has won it for the first time this year. He placed fifth in the 2013 World Championships. He opened with a, a loss, two to four. But he came back, won three straight matches and got the bronze medal in the World Championships. He's been on four U.S. World Teams, five U.S. Open titles, participated in the 2008 and 2012 Olympic Games. Our Greco-Roman Wrestler of the Year, Spencer Mango. <laughs> Folks, I will also tell you that this award was first handed out in 1993. It went to James Johnson. So when we talk about standing on the shoulders of great people. You can go back down through the list of any of these award winners and you're going to find a share of great, great people that helped us to get to where we are. Someone once said a turtle doesn't get on a fence post by itself. I'm not saying we got a lot of turtles, but I am saying what you already know. None of us, none of us are in this by ourselves. A woman wrestler of the year, she was a bronze medalist in Budapest, Hungary, helped lead the United States women's team to a third place team trophy. It's the second straight year that she's won a world bronze medal. The world championships, in the second round, she lost to the eventual champion, Eri Tosaka of Japan, but she came roaring back with three straight wins to win the bronze medal. She qualified for her third U.S. world team, has won two U.S. Open championships. She had a great last year with four gold medals in the Poland Open, in the Olympia 2013, in Olympia, Greece, the Grand Prix of Spain, and the outstanding Ukrainian Memorial International Tournament in Kiev in Ukraine and as you well know Ukraine right now is going through its own test away from the mats. She's a U.S. Olympic Training Center resident in Colorado Springs. Alyssa Lampy is our 2013 USA Wrestling <laughs> Women's Wrestler of the Year. Aaron Tomeo uh, will accept the award. Aaron. And Alyssa Lampy is from Wisconsin. We'll say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I will say too that when this award was first handed out, it went to Trish Saunders. And this program would not be where it is today if it wasn't for leaders and people like Trish Saunders who helped get us here today. And Aaron, your role in it too is greatly, greatly appreciated through the years. Our freestyle wrestler of the year is a man that leads virtually no introduction to anybody here or to anybody who follows this sport. 
I need to tell you that this is the John Smith Freestyle Wrestler of the Year, named in honor of two-time Olympic champion, four-time world champion, John Smith. Our recipient this year won a gold medal at the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary, last September, for his third straight world gold medal, Olympic gold and two world championships. And you know the story. Unbeknownst to everyone but him, his doctor and his coach practically, he nursed back from a broken ankle and he wrestled with a plate and five screws in his ankle. But he wrestled like the pro that he is and he carried forth like the champion that he is and he represented not only himself, but he represented his team, this country, and this sport in the highest manner. I can go on and on about Jordan Burroughs, one of the greatest wrestlers in our wrestling history, and certainly a wrestler that we all want to get behind and just lift up, because as he wrestles, he lifts each and every one of us up as well. Our 2013 John Smith Award winner, USA Wrestling's Freestyle Wrestler of the Year, Jordan Burroughs. Bill Shear will accept this award on behalf of Jordan Burroughs and the University of Nebraska. And a corn husker. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Set that trap for me right there, yeah, right? That's right? Oh wow. <laughs> Next, we're going to take a few minutes to just recognize our coaches. We're here because of the wrestlers, but the coach's objective is to help the wrestler develop their full human wrestling potential. Again, no one's in this alone. A recipient this year is the second time he's won this award. He won it first in 2007. The award is named after Terry McCann, 1960 Olympic champion, former president of USA Wrestling, former board member of FILA, and one of the founding fathers of this organization. You talk about steering ships through troubled waters. Nobody did it more ably than Terry McCann. And his memory is with us today. Our recipient is a coach with the New York Athletic Club and the Ohio Regional Training Center. He was the 2013 U.S. World Team coach, helping to lead the United States to a fifth place finish, led by individual champions, Jordan Burroughs. As coach for the New York Athletic Club, our recipient helped coach the club to a Division I team title at the U.S. Open and at the World Team Trials. And the New York Athletic Club had two individual champions and placed six athletes on the national team. No small feat. He's the associate head coach at the Ohio State University, has been there for seven years. Our 2013 Terry McCann Award winner is USA Wrestling's Freestyle Coach of the Year, Lou Roselli. All right, Lou, I'm gonna ask you to take the hat off. And one more. And you talk about suspects, you take a look at the history of this award. The first recipient was one of our living legends himself back in 1992, Bobby Douglas. And you will still see him walking around the facility or the venue, wherever we might be. A long list of very notable award winners in that, uh, in that category. Our Greco-Roman Coach of the Year. This is the first time this coach has received this honor. He was the coach of the 2013 Cadet World Team a team that produced two bronze medalists. They were the first two FILA Cadet Greco-Roman medals won by the United States since FILA Cadet World Championships were revived by FILA. That was in 2011. He's a coach with the Patriot Elite Wrestling Club, which coaches age group as well as senior wrestlers. He's the head coach at George Mason University, a longtime assistant coach at the University of Minnesota. He was active with Minnesota Storm when he was there one of the finest wrestling clubs in the States. And he's been active with the coaching pool in USA Wrestling for many, many years. Whether you think of freestyle, whether you think of Greco, you just think of wrestling, you've got to think of our 2013 USA Wrestling Greco-Roman Coach of the Year, Joe Russell.
Next, we want to recognize our women's wrestling coach of the year. He was a coach for the 2013 Junior Pan Am team, which won the team title with six medals. He's the coach at the Oklahoma City University Gator Women's Regional Training Center, which is also one of the most successful clubs in this country. He's been the head wrestling coach for several years at Oklahoma City University, and he coaches both the men's and the women's teams there. Under his leadership, this women's program has become a powerhouse in college wrestling. They won four straight women's college national titles from 2009 to 2012. He served as an event director. He's been successful in the college, on the high school, and on the state association levels. You go back and you take a look at his record. For 23 years, he served as the state chairperson for the state of Oklahoma and was named a seven-time Oklahoma Coaches Association Coach of the Year. He breathes this sport, he lives this sport, and a lot of us, a lot of us, have drawn off of the great things that he has done. Our recipient for the 2013 Women's Coach of the Year, Archie Randall. Leroy Smith. Leroy, are you here? Yeah. Come on up, Leroy. Come on Step down, Leroy. Former Oki. Or fellow Oki, I should say. Okay, we've recognized the athletes of the year. We've recognized the coaches of the year. We have three more recipients to recognize tonight. The first is the Ed Aliverti Golden Microphone Award. It's named in honor of the late Ed Aliverti, who set the bar, raised the standard, put the level up there for all other PA announcers to reach. And so this award is given annually to that public address announcer who, in the opinion of USA Wrestling, has reached that bar, touched that bar, set by Ed Aliverti. A recipient this year, you know his voice, he's excelled tremendously. He's been active for over two decades. He's also one of the leading broadcast journalists in the sport of wrestling. He's done it all, announcer, co-announcer, interviewer, host. He's announced high school events, regional events, state events, national events. He announces for automobile auto racing. He announces for arena football, mixed martial arts. He's not with us tonight because of a prior commitment but you can catch him on Takedown on Take Wrestling Radio, or you can watch him on Takedown Wrestling Television. Our 2013 Ed Aliverti Golden Microphone Award goes to Scott Casper. <laughs> Sandy Stevens, will you come up here and accept this award? Former winner. Sandy Stevens, our first winner of this award right here, who worked so closely with Ed Aliverti through the years. <laughs> Go right for it. Okay, next we want to recognize the 2013 USA Wrestling Woman of the Year. She was a 2008 Olympian. Since ceasing her role as a competitor, becoming a coach and a leader, she's done it all. She serves on the Women's Sport Committee, has served on the Board of Directors for USA Wrestling. Last year she coached the Fila Junior Team. She's women's coach for Tight Mercury Wrestling Club. She's currently the program coordinator for the highly successful and the coach for Beat the Streets in Los Angeles. This award was first handed out to Trish Saunders in 1997 for Woman of the Year. It goes tonight to Marcy Van Dusen. Now we come to our 2013 USA Wrestling Man of the Year. I would begin by telling you, or reminding you I should say, that on the 12th of February 
of the year. The IOC executive board made a decision that rocked our world when they recommended that wrestling not be considered and included in the Olympic Games. And that was on the 12th of February. And then on the 8th of September, the IOC said, good job wrestling, we want you as a part of our program. You've heard the story about born this time, died this time, it's the dash that counts. Think about the 13th of February, think about the 8th of September, and then focus on the dash. And if you do that, then you understand the appreciation we all have for the, our recipient in this year's Man of the Year Award. Leadership emerged out of the necessity for leadership. And our recipient chaired the Committee for the Preservation of the Olympic Games, pulling together some of the greatest leaders in this sport and in this country to help lay out the strategy and build the framework to get the Games to accept wrestling once again. He conducted weekly meetings with conference calls. He made numerous trips overseas. He worked with USA Wrestling. He worked with FILA. He helped raise $1.4 million. He oversaw our international effort. And you know, like I do, that through this sport of wrestling, things were done on a, polit on a wrestling level that the State Department could not get accomplished. When you take a look at Iran, when you take a look at Russia, and you take a look at all the countries coming together to form one unified global effort. But make no mistake about this. The leadership came from this great country in which we live. And the big thrust of leadership came from our man of the year, Mr. Bill Shear. Thanks, Pan. That sounded pretty good. I, I, I like a copy of that if you have it. Um, sometimes when you lead, you have to pull people. Other times you're just along for the ride. And I and this is a committee that really was, was led by the committee members. I feel a little guilty in accepting this because it really should be given to the committee as a whole. Uh, there's just a couple things to mention here. First, when when this happened, USA Wrestling, of course, was under, under some attack because just by being in a situation, uh, people felt, hey, what's USA Wrestling doing or why did this happen without understanding the situation? And Rich Bender, Jim Ravenack, and the leadership at USA Wrestling stepped up, formed this committee, and went to work to solve the issue and, and got it done. And so Rich Bender and his team and Jim Ravenack at USA Wrestling deserve a great deal of credit. And then right at the beginning of this, at the onset of this crisis, we would not be standing here, I don't believe we'd be standing here today if at the beginning of this crisis, one man didn't have the courage to step up and make a tough choice and stand against the leadership and against the establishment within FILA. And that, that man is Stan Desig. So Stan was able to work behind the scenes and directly against the current president of FILA, who was a roadblock to getting this done. And that took a great deal of courage for him to do that at the time. And I think without Stan Desig, we're not, we're not in the position we are today. And then I see many other committee members here. So uh, we, we, uh, this is really something for all of you to share in. Thank you very much. Okay, the award that Bill just walked off with is, is an award that will be personalized with the, names, with the names printed on the award and then mailed out to the recipients so that in fact they do not have to carry them home from here. So. They will, they will catch up, uh, it will catch up to them. Rich uh, Bender used the term not too long ago about being in a renaissance period. I don't know if this is a renaissance period or not, but I know one thing, I like it. And I like it because we've been given a lot of great opportunities. And the road ahead is what we're gonna make it. The road that we've come from, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. But I will also tell you, on behalf of USA Wrestling, where we're trying to get to down the road, we need each and every single one of you. So we thank you all again for being here tonight. This is our only business portion of the night. The only thing left to do is enjoy it. Dennis, Mitch, Marty, Mark, the Halls, 
Mitch, thank you very, very much. Eat and enjoy the night. Thank you.